Hey guys, how are you guys doing? Welcome to our kitchen in item 7 deals today. We are happy to be here once again. So guys, today in our menu we are making granite soup. This is granite I am frying here right now. I am roasting the granite. So I'm going to be roasting it this way. I'm roasting it with um, local charcoal. So I'm going to be roasting it this way till it's well roasted. To peel off the back, the skin. it with gari you can see my gari down there so this is our first process guys after this we're gonna be taking it to blend uh, to blend guys so i'll be using beef you, you are free to use any kind of meat i'll be using beef for this um, peanut soup granite soup and um skin and i'll be using dry shims and i'll be adding this um ehuru these ehuru seeds rounded crayfish so guys don't roasting the granite now so I am peeling off the skin. It's very easy to peel since the granite is um well roasted now. So after peeling this off, we take it to blend and start our cooking. So um the vegetable I'll be using for this granite soup is um scent leaf. I'll be using my scent leaf. This is 15 year old scent leaf. And I'll be um, combining it with Uziza leaf. This is fresh Uziza leaf. Okay. Um, granite in nature is very sweet. So I recommend you use um, bitter leaf or Uziza leaf or scent leaf. It will bring out the taste very well. It's to balance the taste rather because granite itself is very sweet okay guys so this is the granite in the blender let me go try if my blender can blend this but if you can't blend it i will need to add water i don't have any choice um so this is my ehuru well peeled now i'm gonna add it with the granite to blend it together my meat is already boiling on fire so let's blend this first okay guys so our meat is on fire i will be adding my i'm using this spice is multi-purpose i'll add my onions Salt. Just some water to infuse and we'll cover to cook. So I've um ordered the water in my meat, so I'll be adding my pepper. Getting soft, the pomoto is getting soft, so we'll still allow it to boil. So, let me add my shrimps. I'll add my crayfish. Mm 
be adding my red oil no much because um, granite soup already is um, granite itself has too much oil okay guys so I will be adding my peanuts now I have to add water to blend it together because my blender could not smoothly blend it okay guys so <clears throat> as I was saying I had to add water to support the blender it blended the dough but not really smooth so I had to I had to add water to blend it so I would recommend if you see a ready to use um granite butter you can use that one because the process is not funny at all or you can buy your granite there and blend with a power blender maybe in the market but if not you just buy the already processed one processing it here in the kitchen is taxi so we have added it already we are gonna allow it to boil all right guys this is about five minutes later i seen already though but almost there when making granola soup you, you have to be closer not to you have to be closer to the soup to stir it regularly because granola soup is not friendly at all it can get burnt so now i let me add my smoked fish This is small micro fish. So it's on low heat. It's on low heat. You have to leave it on low heat. And stir it regularly. Mm, it's, the test is so, so heavenly. So it's still boiling it's not ready and then one thing one more thing if you want your granite soap to be colorful maybe more red you don't want it this color you can decide to add blended a mix of um, tomato some pet tomato and um, tatashe you can blend and add but in this particular recipe we are not adding anything tomato this is the natural color of the granite soup. All right, guys. So this is about some minutes later. The granite soup is doing fine. It's time to add the vegetable. You know the combo already I introduced it earlier this is about um, I mix them together scent leaf and ozizal leaf and the aroma I'm getting here eh? so like I'm like, like I was saying a peanut butter soup is almost ready it's, it's ready look at it I'm just gonna lie steam since I just added the veggies. So feel free to add things to, to get to add the color of your desire if you want. But in this recipe, we aren't doing that. Mm. Oh, oh, oh goodness. The taste, the taste, eh? The taste, eh? And the aroma. Okay guys, so let me allow it steam, then I will dish it out. Let me allow it steam a bit. The aroma I'm getting is too, is too much. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here I present to you my granite soup. It is very much ready. 
I know you like it. I know you like what you are saying. It's very nutritious and very, very delicious and like very tasty too. You should try this in your homes. So guys, thank you for watching today's video. And guys, please subscribe to this channel. Subscribe to this channel, please guys. And God bless you. Thank you guys. See you next time on our next video. Bye-bye.